Sairam students, welcome back. Today we are going to learn EVS 2 history for chapter evolution part 1. But before starting, let's take a short recap of the previous lesson, third chapter life on earth. In it we have seen formation of the earth, beginning of life on the earth, the animal world on the earth. And today we are going to learn the concept of evolution. What is evolution? The word evolution is generally understood to mean gradual and continuous change. Now gradual means slow, means the word evolution is generally understood to mean slow and ongoing change. In other words, we can say evolution means the development of plants, animals, etc. over many thousands of years from simple early form to more advanced ones. Now what is evolution? The word evolution is generally understood to mean gradual and continuous change. And so the next concept is evolution in the plant and animal world can be explained in the following manner. First, in the process of survival by adapting to environmental changes, certain internal physical changes occur in some animals of a species. Now, this means in the process of survival by adapting to surrounding changes, certain internal physical change occurs in some animals of a species. Species means a group of plants or animals that are very similar to each other. Students, just tell me what happens in the process of survival in some animals of a species. Yes, in the process of survival, by adapting to the environmental changes, certain internal physical changes occur in some animals of a species. Very good. Now the next one, second point. Over a period of time, these internal changes become inherited characteristics seen in all following generations. Students, this means over a period of time, this internal changes become genetic features seen in all following generations. Now just tell me which internal changes are seen in all following generations? Yes. Answer is over a period of time, several internal changes become inherited characteristics seen in all following generations. Very good. Now the next. So, thus, a new species with characteristic different from the original may be created. So the new one can be created. Now this is the picture of various species of dinosaurs. You can see the changes. And next, such a species is usually more evolved than the original one means students they are more developed than the original one now just tell me how are they yes they are more evolved than the original one now the next one sometimes the original species dies out or become extinct now your extinct means disappear now what happens to the original species? The original species dies out or become extinct. Now the uh, next is sometimes more than one species evolved from the original one. Means 
two or more are been developed from the original ones now what happens two or more species are evolved from the original one now the next now let's see the next who was the first scientist to give us explanation of the concept of evolution yes students yes the first scientist to give us a systematic explanation of the concept of evolution was charles darwin who was he charles darwin very good students the next one species which are capable of adapting to environmental changes are able to survive this means those species which can adjust with surrounding environment they stay alive now just tell me who are able to survive yes yes species which are capable of adapting to environmental changes are able to survive very good now the next the ones that cannot do so become extinct in the process of evolution means the ones that cannot adjust with the surrounding environment dies out in the process of evolution now just tell me who become extinct in the process of evolution yes the one who cannot adjust with the surrounding environment become extinct in the process of evolution now the next one in ancient times there were many species of a type of animal called dinosaur now who are dinosaur there were many species of a type of animal called dinosaur dinosaur is a animal very good now the next one dinos in greek means terrible and saurus means lizard or reptile now what is dinos dinos means terrible and what is saurus saurus means lizard or reptile now the next some of these dinosaurs were enormous in size enormous means very large in size how were dinosaurs in size students yes dinosaurs were enormous in size next it appears that this species of enormous dinosaur suddenly became extinct yes enormous means very large extinct means disappear or die out so it appears that this species of very large dinosaurs suddenly became disappeared or died out now tell me what suddenly happened to the enormous dinosaurs yes what happened they became extinct very good students the next one some sudden natural disaster or environmental change is believed to be responsible for their extinction means students some sudden natural calamity or environmental change is believed to be responsible for their extinction now just tell me what is believed to be responsible for their extinction yes some sudden natural disaster or environmental change is believed to be responsible for their extinction very good next one fossils of dinosaurs with wings have been discovered fossils means here remains of dead animals and here the fossils of dinosaur means skeletons of dinosaurs with wings have been discovered so skeletons of dinosaur with wings have been discovered now just tell me what was discovered fossils of dinosaurs 
with wings have been discovered. Now the next. It is believed that some species of two-legged and winged dinosaurs evolved into birds. Means it is believed that some species of two-legged and winged dinosaur developed into birds. What evolved into birds? Yes, students, what evolved into birds? Some species of two-legged and winged dinosaur evolved into birds. Now the next, this is the fossils of dinosaur, means skeletons of a dinosaur which was evolved into sea bird. Two legs with wings, they were evolved into birds. Now the next, the stages of evolution of animal. Life on earth began with unicellular organism known as protozoa. Now you know protozoa we have learnt in the previous lesson. Yes, it was the living things first appeared in water. Who are protozoa? Protozoa means unicellular organism known as protozoa. Very good. Next one. This unicellular organism gave rise to multicellular living things. Who gave rise to multicellular living things? Unicellular organism gave rise to multicellular living things. Very good. Now the next, the multicellular organisms evolved gradually and various classes of plants and animals came into being. This means, now students, just tell me, uni means, uni means one, uni means one, multi means many or more than one. So unicellular means one single cell. And multicellular organism means multiple cells or more than one cells. So, the multicellular organism developed slowly and various classes of plants and animals came into being. Now, next is, therefore, the following are the stages of evolution of animals. First was invertebrate, second was vertebrate. Now students, this means there are two stages of evolution of animals. First is invertebrate and second is vertebrate animals. How many stages of evolution of animals are there? Yes, the stages of evolution of animals are invertebrate and vertebrate animals. Very good. Yes, students, the next one, invertebrates. Animals without a backbone are called invertebrate. For example, a snail, earthworm, starfish, etc. Now, students, this means they do not have backbone. They are called invertebrate animals. Have you ever seen the earthworm or snail? Yes. How are they? Have you ever touched them? Yes, some might have. They are fleshy. There are no bones in them. So they are very fleshy. Now the next one. Vertebrates. Animals which have a backbone are called vertebrates. For example, fish, parrots, monkeys, etc. Now, vertebrates means animals which have backbones. Yes, even we human beings are vertebrate animals. We have 
backbone behind from the neck till our tailbone we have a backbone which makes us to sit straight yes students now tell me what are vertebrate animals vertebrate animals means animals which have backbones are called vertebrate animals did you understand now what we have learned today the concept of evolution the stages of evolution of animals yes students now we are going to do a small activity fill in the blank first one over a period of time dash changes become inherited characteristics second the first scientist to give us a dash explanation was charles darwin the first answer is internal over a period of time internal changes become inherited characteristic second the first scientist to give us a systematic explanation was charles darwin next in dash there were many species of a type of animal called dinosaur fourth one dinosaur means a dash answer for the third is yes ancient time in ancient time there were many species of a type of animals called dinosaur next dinosaur means a terrible lizard yes students okay this is all for today sai ram thank you